We actually calculated it the other day for a, a video that we're, we're doing and I've just signed my 13th rent to rent deal since I think it was April last year. So 30 rent to rent deals, which is what? That's probably more than one a month in a recession. So yeah, I mean, rent to rent can be recession proof because we're getting these properties, we're filling them, we're cash flowing them and we've got the flexibility because if we need to give them back, then we can terminate agreements. Try buying a house and then trying to give it back. It's a funny old game because I think when COVID first hit, I was really quite panicked. I remember Boris did an announcement at 5 p.m. and I looked over at Lucy and was like, damn, like, how's this gonna affect us? But what happened was really interesting. At first, everything slowed down. You know, we couldn't do the SA stuff, all sort of serviced accommodation bookings got canceled. The likes of Airbnb, booking.com just kicked everything out. We had HMO tenants that were struggling, going on to furlough, not sure what was gonna happen. And it, it was quite a lot. But I remember waking up the next day calculated the burn rates between our portfolio, where we was at, how long we could last if this really went the south, and then just double down. And what happened was we realized that even though there was a lot of bad stuff going on, there was like some positive things. So we found that essential workers required accommodation. People needed to isolate from loved ones. So there was massive opportunities there. We had situations whereby construction was hiking up because people needed to construct and they were still essential jobs. So we had a big influx of long-term construction bookings, which meant that our SAs in many ways started performing better because we had long-term guests, less cleans, less turnover. And we had like five, six, seven month bookings, three month bookings where properties were earning on a nightly basis, big cash flow but you know, long, long stays. So that was amazing. In terms of HMO, most of our professional tenants were fine because they got furloughed and also students got their student loans. So they all, you know, kept paying as well. We didn't really have anybody default. We worked with a couple of people, but they all up to date now. In terms of landlords, and guaranteeing rent, I'm very proud to say we guaranteed every single one of our landlords for the entirety of COVID. One of our portfolio landlords actually offered us a holiday because they got a holiday across their whole portfolio, a mortgage holiday that is, and passed that on to us so he was able to support the tenants. We paid that back now and you know, it's, it's all good. We had money in the bank if I'm honest. So we did have some rainy day fund. I personally believe from a business perspective, you always need to have an amount that can pay for your burn rate for six months or 12 months. In other words, if you don't earn another penny today, how long can you last? We try and keep that above six months. So that was fine. Um, a lot of you actually asked me about, oh, it's all right for you because you was already going, you already had a portfolio. What about if we're just starting? And I found massive opportunities to source rent to rent deals through COVID, through the recession, because landlords were very, very desperate to get their properties let. A lot of agents were furloughed, so reduced staff, closed. I was calling up agents and not being able to get hold of them. And you think, well, if I can't, if I can't get hold of the agent, then what about new tenants or the landlord? They're gonna get annoyed. So we had an influx of new inquiries via our online stuff and mentees I work with, I had mentees start bang in the middle of COVID that couldn't get deals before, that got three, four, five deals in COVID. We actually calculated it the other day for a, a video that we're, we're doing and I've just signed my 13th rent to rent deal since I think it was April last year. So 30 rent to rent deals, which is what? That's probably more than one a month in a recession so yeah i mean rent to rent can be recession proof because we're getting these properties we're filling them we're cash flowing them and we've got the flexibility because if we need to give them back then we can terminate agreements try buying a house and then trying to give it back <laughs>